Hello Transformers fans and welcome to a comparison review between Generation 1 Sea Spray and GoBot's Dive Dive. That's that's his that's this guy's name. Actually when I first found him in my grandma's attic, that's where I got this from. I thought he was a, a blimp. Not supposed to go like this, but then I saw the wheels on the top, I was like, huh? And then flipped him like this now. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but he has the porthole detailing on the side. And on top, there's the uh, very stress marked on this side. Uh, like the, the mast, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's submarine, so it... It has wheels, but they do not work at all. It's kind of weird. This, my, the legs of mine don't snap together very well either. I might have complained they could have added a peg in the, the feet here. Because they do not peg together very well and it's annoying. And these slide around a little too much, but... Still a G1 era toy, so I'm gonna cut her a bit of slack. And here is Sea Spray. Everyone on this channel probably knows Sea Spray. If there's anyone on this channel, I suck at YouTube. Um, he's Sea Spray. I mean, uh, hovercraft wheels on him don't work either. Uh, spinny propellers, if I could spin them. Yep, there's that. Nothing else. This is actually the second sea spray I have. Got one from my aunt, and then I got this one from a very awesome friend I had who worked at Trader Joe's. His name is Nate. Got a few old toys from him. Rub sign. That works. Why do I call it a rub sign? I never say rub sign. I always say rub symbol. Huh. There's some t tiny stickers up here. And uh, he actually hides his face better than the brand new Titans Return. <laughs> That's funny. So let's get on with transformation. I'm already holding Sea Spray, so I'll start there. Just grab the front and the back. The, the front and the back. There, I'm not retarded. Let's just separate them. Flip, flip, flip. Okay, that's a that's a thing. Sometimes like, they don't extend evenly. There's two parts. It extends here and here. So you just got to look. And make sure both parts are evenly extended. Pull this section up. And you can stand him. And then, just grab this yellow part, flip that up. And he's already too tall. This, this dude is like four and a half inches tall. So, yeah, that's sea spray. Get into articulation later. Um, for dive, dive. That's probably where that name came from. For dive, dive, you just kind of extend the legs, wiggle them apart. Come up. Oh. I haven't transformed this guy in forever. The hip parts are supposed to separate, like this side does it. This side's not cooperating though. Um, if it does separate, spin this 90 degrees and then fold this foot up. I think maybe you need to uh, bring the arms down first and then, yeah, maybe. There. There is Gobot's dive dive. Um, 
So, there they are together. You can definitely tell the distinct styles between GoBot and Transformer. Um, the I don't know if it's just circumstances or otherwise, but the stickers on the GoBot are not holding up very well. So that and the the ones on Sea Spray, they're doing fine. I think that. All, those are the only stickers that are supposed to be on him, so, yeah. We're not even going to talk about this. It's, uh, the, the, the wheels that hang down. We're not going to talk about that. I swear, no one in the comments either. Chrome head, though, um, that's it's pretty weird. I don't think any Transformers have chrome heads, even though there's probably the one Transform- Hold on, let me just look at my shelf first. Yeah, looking... Yeah, no one- none of them, or at least the very few I have, none of the ones I have have chrome heads, so that's kind of cool. Um, if I remember correctly, yeah, kind of is articulated too. Good, the paint's not coming off on me. Uh, arms are ball jointed, so you get that. Legs, nothing. It's an 80s toy. Um, sea spray, you can nod. Um, and got a hinge in the arm, so you can, boy. doesn't stand up very nice, but it's just old, so. Yep, and, uh, honestly, my choice, I personally, is just, just opinion, okay, don't get crazy, uh, would be Sea Spray. I just like him better, he feels better, he's not as flimsy or as, uh, stupid as Sea Spray. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, he just feels nicer. And the uh, the vehicle mode choice is very nice. And the color scheme is a bit more interesting than just gray. Uh, so, really, if you could find Dive Dive for like five bucks, I mean, you don't really need him. Unless you're a GoBots person, you need to get off this channel right now, if you're a GoBots person. Um, but, yeah, Sea Spray is definitely worth whatever you pay for him, as long as it's not over 15 bucks. Whereas, he's probably not. So, um, yep, thank you for watching.